All right, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you guys scene cut detection. If you have a long play clip that doesn't have edits in it and you need to have all the scenes marked out, you can use scene cut detection, which is in the studio version of Resolve. Navigate to your media and choose a destination folder in your project. You can right click and hit scene cut detection and you'll get this window. You can mark an in and an out if you need to with these little arrows on the right. Mark in, mark out. You have your cut list over here. You can choose your in and out and hit auto scene detect. You can add and delete them if they're false scenes. And you can zoom in with the slider here. You can also hit N for next and P for previous. And these little thumbnail previews are, the small one on the left is the preceding shot. The one in the middle, the large one, is the frame you're on, and the one on the right is the very next frame. So if we hit play, you can see the shot carries on, and we have space in between the green lines here. So we'll go to the next one, and here's a cut where he's talking out of the megaphone, cuts to the stage shot. So you can see these are cuts. Now what this line is, is your threshold. So if you go higher, you could see the lines turn gray. That means you're going to ignore that as a cut. So if I go next, it jumps all the way to the next green line here. But if we pull this down and highlight green and hit next, we could see that's an actual cut. And that's how you can set up whether or not you agree that it's detecting the cuts properly. So once you dial that in and everything looks good, you would uh, rerun auto scene detect on the whole feature or, or length of the clip. And then you can also preview it over here by clicking. And you can push down and up arrow over here. Same thing as the P and the N for previous and next when you're on the timeline here. And then when you're done and you like all the cuts, you can hit add cuts to media pool. Before we do that, I'll show you this three dot menu in the upper right. You have reset zoom, reset marks. You can prune scene cuts, save scene cut, load. You can make an EDL. So that's up there in case you need to reset things. If you already have scene cuts detected, you can open another piece of media and open scene cut, then go back to the original and all these marks will be gone because once you've opened this and detected it and you close it, it actually saves that information. So if we open scene cut detection again, you can see it's got these same scenes already detected. So you don't have to do that every time you open media. So now that we want to add these cuts to the media pool, just go ahead and hit that button. And then we can close out this window. And as you can see, we now have a bunch of clips inside this destination folder. Go ahead and hit Command A to select all. Right click anywhere in one of the clips and say create new timeline using selected clips. You'll get the create new timeline dialog box. You can change your number of video and audio tracks, all the usual stuff, hit create. It'll then create a timeline right inside this folder. And if we go over to our edit page with shift four, we now have a timeline created with all the cuts that we had marked out are ready to go to individually size or color correct or whatever you might need to do. Keep in mind that there are no handles. So where this cut happens, like any other piece of media, you're not dealing with individual shots and selecting them in like you would a traditional edit. This is frame for frame, there are no handles, of course. So if you were to delete this, you can't actually roll edit it back out. So keep that in mind. Now there's also one other way to do this. If we take the whole feature and drop it into our timeline, you can do it from here. If we go timeline, detect scene cuts, it kind of automatically starts in on you and gives you a countdown. It's not as accurate because of the threshold, but it's like a faster way to do it. So just to know that that's there, I've gotten mixed results with it. Not as good as the usual. All right, that's about it. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.